A new invention could save lives, and it was created by a 23-year-old. James Roberts built a prototype of an inexpensive baby incubator that could be used in developing nations as part of a final project in his product design and technology studies at Loughborough University in England. The inspiration came from a TV report. I was lucky enough to be sitting down in front of my TV one night in my student flat, and I turned on the TV and a program on Syria came up. And there was a good five minute segment of this program just talking about premature kids and how they're all dying due to lack of incubation. So I thought there's got to be a way to solve this and kind of just went in head first. More than one in ten babies worldwide are born prematurely, according to the World Health Organization. Around one million children die each year due to complications of preterm birth. Incubators provide warmth and oxygen flow to help the babies survive. They also include more complicated technology like brain function scanners. Mr. Roberts' incubator would only cost $400, he says, a fraction of the around $50,000 that incubators can cost. It's a scaled-down model that's designed to fulfill the most basic tasks, keeping the baby warm and providing fresh filtered air through fans. The body of the incubator is made of inflatable plastic. That's where Mr. Roberts, who worked nine months on the prototype, brought down most of the production costs. Heaters that can be powered by car batteries, for example, keep the interior warm and an Arduino computer regulates temperature, humidification and a phototherapy lamp, all built with inexpensive but reliable components he found in computer stores, Mr. Roberts says. Now that his prototype is ready, he's already thinking about scaling the incubators for different circumstances. I'm going to try and make different versions, so I'm going to have a, a very simple one for refugee camps where it's literally just a life and death situation, but maybe more complicated ones for developing world hospitals in places like Brazil and India, which might have the infrastructure to be able to handle these, they just don't have the funds to be able to buy in developing world, uh, developed world incubators. Mr. Roberts won a $47,000 award by the James Dyson Foundation for his invention. He says he will put all of it back into refining the prototype. A few American incubator companies have already contacted him to offer their help. He says, if everything goes well, he hopes to bring a version of the cheap inflatable incubator on the market in two years.